on my mind a lot. Don't need no time, watch. Got my heart no barging in from the bed to the floor to the couch. Might wait the neighbors up, but you in and break you out. In the end, we gon' cheap versus expensive rugby boots. Which? pair do you go for? Is there a massive difference between them both? Is there a big difference between you spending 40 quid and 200 pound on your pair of boots? And that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to do a series of challenges going through them with my 40 pound pair of boots that I bought and a 200 pound pair of boots which I bought and see which one comes out on top. This is going to be fun. We're going to do some kicking, we're going to do some footwork, we're going to do some rugby movements and drills just to see how they feel on yeah, going multi-directional, making hits and whatnot. So let me know firstly in the comments below which one do you prefer off the bat just from looking at them? Do you like how the 40 pound pair of boots look or do you like how the 200 pound pair of boots look? Let me know and also make sure you subscribe to this channel for more rugby drills, tips and insights to help you level up your game. Let's get into it. Might wait the neighbors up, but you win and break you out. In the end we're gonna make the chat. Before we start, if you're a rugby player and you're looking to level up your game and you want to work with me, then make sure you hang around at the end. I've worked with professional rugby players on their individual skills all the way down to the under eights to improve their game. So whichever level you are, whichever age you are, make sure you hang around at the end to find out how you work with me. And you can be anywhere in the world. Wait at the end. Let's get into this session. So let's get into the two pairs of boots. Firstly, I'm gonna just review how they look and how they feel, okay? To start with, and this is the expensive, this is the 200 pound pair of boots. These are Umbro, and these are about size 9.5. And how they fit on my feet, because I use these quite often, is they're very, very tight. And I like my boots tight. And you can notice as well, the material is very thin. And I feel like when I tie the laces, boom, they, they hug my feet very nicely. The only thing I would say with Umbro boots, and I've got the same cheap pair of Umbro boots here, and I've gone for the same brand because the moldies are the same length. Um, I'm not sure if it's the same thing for all brands, but for example, I've got a pair of Mizunos that I used to play with and a pair of Skechers, and their blades are a lot longer, and I find that I do prefer longer blades because I, I do like to cut really sharp. I feel like I get a lot more traction with a longer pair of studs but if it's a hard ground to say i'm not playing on 4g say i'm playing in the summer down the local and the pitch is really hard then these blades are perfect because they're not that deep and they won't upset my feet initial look at these i love the style i love the color and i love the way they hug your feet good start for the 200 pound pair and let's have a quick little look at the cheaper pair straight away you can see puffiness to the leather. So again, that's what happens with the cheaper pair of boots. You can see there's a lot of padding in here, um, whereas this has less padding, less puffiness, and a lot more surrounding the heel. But the blades are the same length, and yeah, there's a little bit of a bend in them. So check the other pair of boots. There's a lot more flex in them. Okay, look how much easier they're bending. Feels like there's a lot more ability to step and move in these than it is in these and i'm sure in the wet as well these because there's so much more material and more padding this will soak up a lot more water so the feet will probably feel a lot heavier when you're running using these rather than these that's the difference how they feel and how they look let me know in the comments below which do you prefer Draw it off the bat let me know Right, I'm going to start the session with the cheap pair of boots. Again, these are 40 quid. I'm going to put them on and just see what the initial feel of them are. I haven't worn these before, so let's give it a go. Right, they're on. So initially, even before standing up, I can just feel that, yes, like the expensive ones, they're nice and tight on my feet, but they do feel a little bit puffier. They're not as tight on the back of my heel here. That's what I can feel initially straight away. But I'm gonna get up, have a little run around and test them out and then go through a series of the challenges, see how they feel. You on my mind a lot. Don't need no time, watch. I don't know how I got you in my pocket spot. Yeah, this bay, miss you every day. You like my oxygen. Yeah, so test number one is going to be footwork into an agility type of slalom. Sprint to the 22 and then sprint back. And just to see how it feels with the boots on my feet, how it turns and then how I feel then at max pace coming back, okay? Let's give this a go. I'm not going to time anything. I'm just going to go off how I feel. Let's get into it. Got my heart no barging in from the to the floor to the couch. Might wait the neighbors up. But you win and break you out. In the end, we're going to make the chat. 
Oh, I'll tell you what, they actually feel alright, but I'm gonna do two more reps of this, try and get faster and faster every time. Let's go, number two. There we have it, that is the speed and agility work for the cheap pair boot. Let's give the expensive pair a go and let's see if there's a difference. Oh, I felt like the turns were good. Got into my stride. Felt so much better that one. Right then, let's go on to some tackling, some forward and backwards movement. Test number two. Here we go then, test number two. Got my old pair of boots back on, and what we're gonna do now is we're gonna test out a little bit of movement patterns in defense. We're gonna come off the line, we're gonna back pedal, we're gonna do a down up, and then we're gonna come around and then make a shot. Making a tackle is not gonna have a massive difference on what shoes we got on, but I just wanna see what it's like to change direction, not only going forwards and sideways, I wanna go backwards, I wanna get off the floor, I wanna know how it feels, and then I wanna see how it feels to explode through the tackle, see how much grip I can get in these pair of boots to boom to explode through these tackles. So here is the slalom. What we're gonna do is we're gonna start on the line. We're coming off the line. There's two color cones. There's a blue and there's a red and that represents the pole we wanna go to. So if I show red, I run forward. I back pedal from red cone. Then I do a down up. Back up, go round the red cone and make a hit. So I wanna be going forwards. I wanna be going backwards. I wanna be getting off the floor, around the corner, make a shot. Let's give it a go with a cheap pair of boots. Let's go. There we have it, tackling set done. Let's try out the expensive boots. Quick change. Let's go. To finish off, we got the goal kicking challenge. I'm gonna do three kicks with the expensive boots, three kicks with the cheap boots, and let's see how it feels to kick through that ball. And then at the end, I'm gonna give you a little review, and remember, wait around at the end end to understand how you can work with me, train with me, and level up your game. Let's get into the last one. Let me know in the comments below how you think it's going so far, what looks better, which pair of boots look as if I'm sharper. Let me know in the comments below. Let's get into the kicking, come on. Right, so I forgot my kick and tee, useless from me, but this is a little hack that you can do if you forget or you haven't got a kick and tee. You're gonna need two cones. It's gonna sit on the second cone. Stack them up like so. Get the line of the ball then to face where you want it to go, and then boom. From there, it's gonna go straight over. Let's give these bad boys a go. <laughs> Oosh, there we go, three out of three. Stick around at the end where I let you know what my verdict is on a cheaper pair of boots. Let's try it out now with the expensive pair. Yes, we go then, expensive boots are on. Let's get into it, three kicks, let's go. No locker, straight through, finishes strong with the expensive boots. Three out of three, let's review them. go overall review then let's have a look at the speed section my backing is going to be on the lighter boots I felt so much better but I'm not gonna give them full marks of 10 out of 10 because length of these I'd like them to be a little bit longer so I'm gonna give these a 9 out of 10 I'm gonna give these a 7 out of 10 for speed yes they felt tight but as the reps are going on they did start to feel a little bit looser and because of the length as well of the studs the moldies whatever uh, but all in all yeah not a big big difference from the beginning Second, the tackling, uh, these are gonna be similar, okay? Because there wasn't really a way to judge them. I just wanted to see how they felt going off the floor and they felt pretty good. So I'm gonna give these even marks each, both seven out of 10. Again, 10 out of 10, I would like them to be a little bit longer, um, both pairs of boots, just because they're coming around the corner and being able to drive through the floor. I want them to be a little bit longer, especially for pitches like 4G or a rugby pitch where the grass seems to be a little bit longer than a football pitch. Finally then, the goal kicking. I'm gonna give these a 10 out of 10. They felt really good, they were tight. 
to my foot and they felt like I could just boom hit through the ball and I could feel where on the foot the ball was and I could control it a lot better. I don't know what I'm talking about with the control but I just felt that way and then with the cheaper pair of boots as time was going on I was out here for two two and a half hours these boots were starting to get a little bit looser at the back here still tight to the front but looser at the back and as well as that I feel like if you were playing and it was raining and week on week they would collect a lot of water and because there's a lot of padding in here these boots would get a lot heavier so overall i would say if you're new to rugby get yourself a 40 pound pair of boots these are class for a beginning you cannot go wrong with that so get involved if you're new to rugby if you're someone like me who plays week in week out and they want a pair of boots that makes them feel million dollars then spend a little bit more money you don't have to spend 200 quid you could go up to 100 pound whatever find a pair of boots that are a little bit more expensive so you can get that feel you can get that foot secure to the boot and yeah that's that's how i would go i would go for a little bit more expensive boots just so i get that feel factor it's up to you get what you want but that's my review let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are on the pair of boots what pair of boots do you wear and let me know what pair of boots you want me to review next and for the academy if you are looking to level up your game make sure you check out the description below because i've given a link there for you to work with me anywhere in the world online academy i give you programs i give you analysis every week the programs then are based on six weeks blocks. They'll be focused on different skills and they take 10 minutes. Some of the drills that you saw today are in that block of work. And every week it gets harder and harder. Players are leveling up every week from youngsters all the way up to the professional level. And again, like I said, you work with me, you're in contact with me very often. So make sure you check the description below. I'd love to see you in the academy so I can help your game get higher and higher and improve your tackle technique your tackle confidence your footwork your passing your kicking your offloading your handing off whatever it is i'm there to help you rugby trainer academy again subscribe please to this channel and comment below your thoughts on this video and what you'd like to see next let's go